Hi everyone, it's Justine. Today I want to show you how I do my makeup in the morning when I do only the minimum to look awake and healthy. <laughs> so this is the result and we're going to start from scratch, including the daycare before starting the makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, so do not learn the techniques from me, but I do want to show you how I just highlight my features, the way my face really looks, without changing the way it looks and without hiding my skin, because I feel that my skin is me. I don't want to hide it. I'm wearing black, the background here is white, that's intentional, it's for you to be able to see the contrast in color better here. You'll see the camera swallows contrast a little bit, so I'm actually more contrasted than you see. You have to imagine a little bit. <laughs> so it's really realistic and it's something that's easy to reproduce, even if you're in a rush in the morning and even if you have no skills in makeup, which in fact is my case. <laughs> You'll see, let's go. This is what my face looks like completely naked. I have freckles, especially after summer holidays. So it's not a homogeneous color, but I don't have pimples or anything. I have dark circles under my eyes, always, even when I'm not working. My eyebrows are quite light and not full. So focus on those elements to see how I enhance them. First, I'm applying a good day care. I'm taking one that's super nourishing. I love anti wrinkle creams for that because they're always extra nourishing and I take at least an SPF of 15. 15 is if I'm not going to be outside today. If I'm going outside I go to 30 upwards. I take quite a lot of it. If you want proper sun protection from the SPF you need to have enough cream on your face. The sensitive eye area is extremely important so I do massage all around the eye a lot. While the face is drying I do the same on my neck and on my chest. Now, since I have different colors on my skin right now, I'm going in again with a light BB cream, very low coverage, mattifying because the daycare was nourishing enough. <laughs> my skin is very nourished and I don't actually have a dry skin, I have normal skin. So I get a nourishing day cream and a mattifying BB cream. I apply that just as a regular daycare and here again I go in every corner, up to the edges, under the chin, up to the hair roots. I insist on the under eye area because I want to cover my dark circles. And I make sure not to put too much on the sides of the nose, otherwise it's called a face cake. Today the under eye area is my main problem zone, so to speak. So I'm going in with a light concealer and a little brush and I'm going really up to the eyelashes and downwards I'm covering a lot more than just the blue areas. That's to avoid having a contrast that would be too strong between the beige of the concealer and the red of my cheeks if I blush or something. Because my cheeks are gonna blush since I'm not wearing foundation. I blend, blend, blend to end with just a thin layer of concealer, nothing more. Then I'm going in with the rouge. I have a palette that has different shades on it. They all look completely natural. I have dark, medium and light. I'm using all three. I'm starting with the dark one and I place that one on the concave areas like in contouring under the cheekbones. Then I put a lighter one on the cheekbones to catch the light a little bit more, but it's really nothing comparable with contouring. It's a lot more natural. And I put a medium one underneath my eyebrows for now. That's to cover a little bit more the little blue veins that are on my mobile lids. I put some light one on my forehead, on my lower jaw, on my chin, on my nose. I'm done with the face, now I'm going to take care of the eyebrows. I want to make them a bit more visible. I have a little palette with two colors and a little brush. I use the lightest one of the two colors. I'm not changing the shape of my eyebrows. I follow the existing shape. I'm also not making them wider. I just make them look a little bit fuller and a little bit more visible by adding contrast to my face.
The only thing I change kind of is that on the side I extend a little bit the eyebrow point towards the outside. That's it. Then I do the same on the other side and suddenly I look a bit more awake and contrasted. Now I often get asked what eyeshadow I'm wearing. It's not eyeshadow, it's this pencil. It's for cool undertones, so it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more pink than my skin right now, which is the reason why I'm using it, because when I apply that very close underneath the eyebrow, especially on the outside part, it makes my eyebrow look a bit higher on the face and it catches the light a lot more. So it looks like my eyes have more space to shine, if that makes sense. Then I blend, blend, blend under the eyebrow and towards the inside to make that look a bit homogeneous with a little sponge. In fact, I think that this trick is what makes me look really awake. <laughs> it's probably the most useful of all steps in this video. Then comes the mascara to look properly awake because my lashes are not black, they're brown. So I use black mascara and I'm not a fan of the waterproof ones that are chemistry based. I feel like that's not so healthy and you can't get it off. <laughs> so I'm using one that's from the pharmacy and it's wax based, beeswax. It really sticks. So if I apply it slowly, I can put a ton of layers on top of each other and it's really holding well. It's not reacting to water, but I can still remove it in the evening with my regular micellar water. So I feel that's a great solution. And then come the lips. Here again, like on my face, I have freckles on my upper lip and also the color of my upper lip is a bit lighter than the lower lip. So even if I'm not wearing a lipstick that's bright red, I will be putting something that's nude, like here, to make sure that my upper lip especially is defined properly and that you see it. <laughs> it looks natural. I have added a list of the products I use and why in the description below. But the most important thing to remember is that the list of products changes throughout the year to get this result because your skin needs dryness or oiliness, etc., and your skin tone change throughout the year and your skin tells you what it needs. You need to work with color contrast and even if you drink something that looks really natural, the color, the shade I'm using varies throughout the year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. So many of you were requesting it. That's really one big topic off the wish list. <laughs> I'll see you on Wednesday for the next episode of the capsule series. Subscribe and click the notification bell to follow that series if you're interested in redoing your closet. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.